Reminiscing of my childhood days In those Virginia hills so far away I'd sit and listen to my grandpa play The bull mountain moonshiner's way He'd play an old hold down just the way it should sound Many long years ago I used to go to his house. Uh, he lived in a place called Possum Holler near Coburn, Virginia. We used to walk through the woods going to his house from where we lived. And my, I'd go with my dad over there. And we'd get within uh, half a mile of his house and we'd hear that fiddle playing. He'd be sitting, sitting by the window and he was a little crippled quite a bit uh, from some work he was doing. And, that's about all he could do is play, play fiddle. And uh, I always remember how he played and how that fiddle sounded through the place called Possum Holler. And uh, I was learning to play uh, play a uh, fiddle and, and uh, he would let me uh, play his fiddle quite a bit. But, but he, uh, he played the old time way and I was trying to play whichever way I could, so uh, it was uh, just a thing that came about, and uh, I used to uh, enjoy going over. And he had shown me quite a few tunes, the old tunes that he played. He was quite popular as a fiddle player. He worked on the Bristol Sessions, which was a big thing in country music. Um, they call it the boom of country music, and uh, I, um, I found out later in life that that he was uh, one of the artists that played on that project, which was uh, the Carter family and Jimmy Rogers and a lot of the uh, earlier people in country music. I think Jimmy Rogers was one of the uh, main ones that was on that project. And there's a lot of history about the fiddle that he had, and I, I was lucky enough to end up with it after my last uncle passed away. He had uh, sort of come apart and uh, he had me to take it and get it put back together. And he passed away while I was getting all that done. And, and then when he, uh, after he passed on, my, his wife wrote some stories about the fiddle, about my great-grandfather come from uh, Ireland. And uh, he, uh, he bought the fiddle and he played it played it most of his life, and then my grand grandpa bought it when he was about 16 years old. I think he paid $7 for it or something and on a payment plan. And, and uh, they said, they said, somebody said, well, he never did pay for it, I don't pay. But, Back then, uh, $7 was a lot of money <laughs> for the older people who uh, was trying to just play music for the fun of it, you know. But uh, I think it was about 200 years old uh, since he first bought it. But uh, I don't know how long it'll be around, but it's, it's sounding better all the time, I think. Black Billy in the low ground, Tennessee hold down, chicken in the red pan, picking outdoors.